I love reading fake Pokemon Day leaks. I mean, just 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 look at this one. It starts off with the reveal of Pokemon Let's Go Raikou and Let's Go Entei. In the games, you actually get a Johto starter at the beginning, but when you get to the burned tower in Ecrotique, you ha you get to catch the beast for your respective version and use it as a ride Pokemon. However, beware, because the games are being developed by Ilka. Dude, I love how scared of Ilka everyone is. <laughs> they reveal new Pokemon Stadium developed by Bandai Namco. You can bring your Pokemon from home into the game. The game will only launch with compatibility with Pokemon from generations 1, 2, 3, 8, and 9, but they promise free updates that will add each generation at a time. That's entirely unrealistic. I mean, like, knowing Pokemon, they just... They'd launch with Pokemon from Generation 1 and 2, and then never update it. Also, according to the same leak, uh, Pokemon Legends Curum is teased for 2025. The open world looks notably better than Legends Arceus, and the starters are shown to be Grookey, Chimchar, and Froakie. A new Dragon-type evolution is shown, but not given a name, and the original dragon is teased, but not fully shown. Okay, to be honest, if, if there was a Legends game that had Grookey as a starter with a new form, I would go crazy. This, this one's really cool crazy. Apparently the Nintendo Switch 2, which, you know, it, this is a common theme throughout a lot of these leaks, but according to this, it's going to be announced before Pokemon Day. So apparently we have less than a month until the Nintendo Switch 2 is announced. Apparently Nintendo always do a direct in February, so it's probably just a good guess that the, the, the Switch 2 will be announced then. Oh, this one's so good. Uh, so apparently Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow are coming to Nintendo Switch Online, assumably days after they've announced a new console. So Nintendo are like, hey, hey, this is our new console, you should buy it right now. And then immediately announce more games for their old console. There's a HD 2D remake of Gold and Silver developed by Ilka. And the final announcement is a new concept similar to Pokemon Legends, but not the same. It's based in Unova and its name is Pokemon Hexagon. <laughs> if, if Game Freak legitimately released a game called Pokemon Hexagon, I think I would. Dude, I'd, I'd be so disappointed. I suppose if this is true, which it's not, but if it is, well, I suppose I'd just have to hope that it's a, that's a translation error. This one, this one is really, really ambitious. Apparently a Pokemon roguelike game will be mentioned to be in development and they'll show off a snippet of gameplay and it's titled Pokemon Reach for the Stars. Pokemon roguelike would go crazy. Okay, it would go crazy, like, but only if you can bring in Pokemon from home. Dude, being able to like run through a roguelike with all, with all my Pokemon from Scarlet and Violet. Shiny Coridon and Shiny Maridon distribution event for Scarlet and Violet is announced. I looked into this actually. I, I made a video on it talking about when all those shiny legendaries in Gen 9 will be released. I don't think Coridon and Maridon are being released as shinies in February, but they are probably being released this year in November. Once again, j j just watch the video if you want to hear more about that. Uh, okay, bye.